Hello, my name is Patricia, and late Thursday, I saw a picture that I knew I needed to paint, and as I was painting the picture, I heard the Holy Spirit start speaking to me, and this is what he had to say. I wrote it down, and I'm sharing it with you, the body of Christ today. This is a wake-up call. Why don't you hear and understand that as the body of Christ, we have become so hardened by the numbing effects of sin that we no longer really believe God when he said that judgment will begin in the house of the Lord. When God clearly tells us that he won't allow anything to come upon us unaware, but no one in the spirit saw the evil that was sitting right there with them. It speaks volumes to where the body of Christ has fallen as a unit. God has been removing generals of the kingdom but who is preparing themselves with a culture of prayer, fasting, and consecration to be able to transition into their places in the spiritual realm. We don't fear his wrath. Yes, he is a God of love and peace, but also justice, as we continually walk in our disobedience to his directives. We would rather fight amongst each other and for titles without doing the duties assigned to the titles. Many would rather build buildings that pour the truth than to pour the truth of God's kingdom into the people. Pride has filled us from the pulpit to the door. The Lord has given us his Holy Spirit and all its gifts to use in this life. But we choose to lean to our own understanding as written not to do in the book of Isaiah. All at the same time trying to pull the moat out of the world's eye while we haven't removed the many, many beams in our own eye. Judgment starts here first because the world is looking for someone to follow. So what are we going to do now? The prophet Jeremiah preached over 40 years and not much did he see real success in changing or softening the hearts and minds of stubborn, idolatrous people. Wake up. What else is going to take place for people to return back to Elohim God's narrow way?